So I'll need those reports by Friday at the latest. And if you have any trouble with Bob down in accounting, just tell him that Linda's a dirty whore and she just needs to stop more cock. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, it's, I don't see it as a sales problem. It's a human resources issue. You should talk to them about it. Well, give IT a call and tell them that PowerPoint's doing that thing again where it just shows thousands of pictures of Peter Falk instead of your correct presentation. They should be able to help. Okay, well, have you tried playing the Stanley Parable? Well, let's give that a go. Is the end? Is never the end? Is never the end? Is never the end? Never? Loading? Is it loading? Is it frozen? I think it's frozen. All signs points are frozen. So this is the Stanley parable. A lot of people were going on about this for some time. Uh, came up on sale, so I thought I'd finally give it a, a try. Uh, before playing it, in my head, it was about Stanley from The Office, um, and that always made it very funny for me. It was it was him living in some sort of post-apocalyptic society. If you've never seen The Office, this this is meanly, meaningless to you, but if you have the American, American Office, you realize this is the story of a man oh. named Stanley. It's starting. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. His phone's not plugged in. I'd have considered it soul winding. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And He's Stanley actually got a pretty big office. His desk is huge. And then one day, something very not as big as my desk, but something that big. would forever change Stanley, something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, sure. Let's just, uh, let's have a quick look around. He's got his three trays, a couple of pencils, one of those cool electric pencil sharpeners that, that you don't seem to be able to buy. I've always wanted one of them. Something... Day. I hate Mondays. Interesting. File cabinets almost entirely inaccessible. No ceiling lights. Only a lamp for illumination. Phone, as I said before, is unplugged. Time is... What is that? Almost six o'clock. No. No, that's not the hand, is it? Oh, shut the door. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley mm. thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Uh, door In stops. here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. It's hours five o'clock. Then days. Had years gone by? Is that the hour he no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. 
Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Oh, you wanker. You git. Oh, I'm back. I was just trying to find out what time it was. This is a real this is a real time clock, isn't it? I was there for like five minutes. Okay. Shut the door behind me. Let's assume a higher numbers are like more sup no. No, it'll be like in Future Armor with the bureaucracy. The lower the number, the more important you are. So these All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Right. Stanley decided to right. go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There is no one below me. All these numbers are higher. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Well, no, there are traces. Look, there's a there's a mug there. And the copy has been in use. No one would leave it that day. There's a kind of memo. Can I make that out? A. Sorry about that. There was a brief pause where someone knocked at the door. It was my grandfather. His television had broken. He wanted me to fix it. Oh, I'm sure I'll get to that at some point. How am I. What, what was I doing? That's the question, really. What was I doing? Right. Very white out. Am I buried in the sun, perhaps? It's a possibility. Let's just turn that off. Might as well save power while we're here. Nope. Right, turn that off as well. Awaiting input. Hmm. Oh, I'm on the desk. Who farted? I'm thinking 419 is a bit of a jokester. Seeing as he, uh, he's got the who farted mug. He's clearly got a different... How can I... I can crouch. No, I can't do anything else. Right, let's keep going forward. That's some kind of plant. L has fallen. I hit Mondays. It's fine. It's in that picture before. What's going on on there? Sales this quarter. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. Uh, uh, which one? Which one? If I go left, I'm listening to him. If if I go right, I'm disobeying him. But before, he had some sort of godly power. So I'm gonna go left. Fight the power. Secretly. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Hire someone to synergize. Papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on topic. Huh. Ooh. It's a pie chart. The projector's up there. Yep, I clearly have no shadow. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, yes, yeah, so that's quite a few charts. Uh, yep. That's uh, Boss Appreciation Minute. To do. Synergize core value. Shift global monetize free. Monetize free to play. Fuck that. A 
How do I, can I jump? Can you double jump? TPS report. No, never reading it. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do amazing work with no expectation of promotion. Don't get fired. Uh, yeah, they're, they're all pretty good. <laughs> Chris? Hello? Hmm. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. That's Chris. Chris should be here. Also, there's only one broom. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Hey, fuck no you, dude. To still be here. I do what I want. Hmm. Maybe it's like the room of requirement. If you walk by it a few times, thinking about something you want. Yeah. Nope. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah. That dude terrifies me. I don't want to get on his bad side. It's not like the narrator in Bastion. Well, damn, if this isn't nice. Can I get in the bathroom? How will the other half live? guy's such a player he's got his secretary has two phones the president doesn't even have two but phones stepping into his manager's office Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life shocked unraveled Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this what dark secret was being held from him what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. How does he get to the top shelf of books? He doesn't have any ladders. So what does he need a fireplace? Stanley right. just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Okay. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Right. Now, this is obviously a trick. So, 28, that's seven fours, and two four fives eight, four adds up five. to nine. And if you add all of those together, you get 20. Uh, two plus zero is. Well, I thought that would be foolproof. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and that Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a mm. correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. Hmm. If he's the boss, who's watching him? I don't need a generator. There's clearly power here. Why don't? They Why is there no lights in this place? It saves on costs, I guess, but surely it's it's just not the best way to do things. Where the hell am I? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. 
to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. Oh god. Blech. Too much spinning. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. 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 Mm, fuck you. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh god. I'm now terrified. Um, the door um, behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh my life. Something At horrible point, is gonna happen. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. That was... I mean, that's getting heart racing. Oh no. Oh god. Ah oh, shit. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Uh. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh god. Stanley. Oh god. Oh god, get me out. No, no! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I don't know who this woman is, but I feel like I should like her. Stanley and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Wow. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Hmm. This is... Where, where am I? Is this the map? Huh? Two do... Okay. Interesting. So that was. That kind of looks like his office. Although his desk wasn't as big as that, and there were more file cabinets. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember now. The boardroom was somewhere around there, wasn't it? What else we got? Office computers. Oh, yeah. I didn't see one playing cards. Employee database. The current time is internal clock error. Right, so we got some pictures. Can I? No. I want to run through there like Godzilla. Hmm. I remember all those. Yep. They were all <laughs> delightful. And this is the credits. Hmm.
damn you, Kevin Brightening. Bright Brighting? Brighting? Damn you, Kevin Brighting. Ah, it's the clock. Ah, and if that's the correct time, that means I've only been playing for four minutes. I feel like I'm in a museum for the game. Early version. Why is it so dark? I can't see! I wouldn't mind being able to run at this point. I like that noise though. Makes me feel like a hacker. Countdown discs. I love countdown. the exit. Hmm. That's just a window. Zending. What's a zending? The fuck is zending? Zone ending? Oh, it's the trailer. Cinematic. Bored. Already bored. Bad trailer. What's the menu? Uh, meeting. I'm actually a bit lost now. God, it's gonna blow! Get the hell out of here. I'm zending room. I can see the switches, so this must be the right way. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Well. There's no better way to end the video, is there? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Ah, oh, shit. Press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Oh. I'm glad it's first person, not third person at times like that. I should have listened to her, shouldn't I? This is the end. My only friend, the end. How do I... Yes. Oh. Can't. 
and that's it. Well, that that was the Stanley Parable. To see a different outcome, go and buy it and play it yourself. <laughs>